Could SpaceX's $2 billion gamble eclipse NASA's $23 billion investment in the race to space dominance? Has SpaceX finally surpassed NASA as the world's greatest spaceship manufacturer? All signs point towards this as the Starship continues to progress in its development, while NASA's SLS continues to be a money pit with no end in sight. Let's talk about the difference in strategy between NASA and SpaceX and how it has propelled Elon Musk and his company to the top of the rocket industry. NASA has openly acknowledged that the Space Launch System, SLS, has become prohibitively expensive. Since the inception of the SLS project, it has encountered not only skyrocketing costs that have spiraled out of control, but also substantial delays. Consequently, NASA has faced criticism as the foremost aerospace agency in the United States regarding its ability to manage and contain the cost and financial issues that have plagued the SLS. In stark contrast, SpaceX has demonstrated exceptional cost management when it comes to its powerful rockets. Despite initial concerns arising after the Starship explosion, it is worth noting that SpaceX's financial challenges are not a major cause for alarm. The company has not been significantly impacted by losses and in fact managed to achieve a profit in early 2023. The Starship project stands as SpaceX's most substantial current investment. While it does hold the promise of becoming a dependable spacecraft in the future, the journey of its development is far from inexpensive. To start, the project involves the employment of a vast workforce, comprising thousands of skilled professionals ranging from engineers to technicians, each possessing specialized expertise. This highly qualified workforce is a significant contributor to the mounting expenses associated with the Starship project. Furthermore, the process of constructing, testing, and refining prototypes demands a substantial investment, not only in terms of financial resources, but also time. Frequent trials and extensive experimentation are imperative components of the Starship development process, critical for guaranteeing its reliability and safety. However, these essential activities are accompanied by a substantial cost. Another factor contributing to the overall expense of the Starship project is the materials used in its construction. Given the colossal size and advanced technology integrated into the spacecraft, it necessitates the use of cutting-edge, high-quality materials. Furthermore, the development of infrastructure related to the Starship project adds to the financial burden. The construction of the vast Starbase launch facility in Texas, for instance, represents a substantial investment. Fortunately, SpaceX has demonstrated the ability to generate sufficient revenue to mitigate these formidable financial challenges. Despite the considerable expenses associated with the Starship project, SpaceX has managed to maintain a solid financial footing. Elon Musk's transparency regarding the cost of Starship is particularly noteworthy. Musk has openly stated that the company plans to allocate approximately $2 billion for Starship development in the current year alone. What's even more remarkable is SpaceX's confidence that they won't require external funding to support these expenses. This prompts a comparison with the notably more expensive NASA Moon program, specifically the Space Launch System, SLS. To put it plainly, the annual budget allocated for SLS development has been doubled compared to SpaceX's expenditures, and yet it continues to face significant challenges. NASA is currently seeking an additional $11.2 billion in the fiscal year 2024 budget, in addition to the $11.8 billion already spent on the initial development of the SLS. Despite the substantial funding it has received, the SLS rocket grapples with meeting the expectations associated with its high costs, both in terms of quality and project timelines. As for SpaceX, after experiencing consecutive annual losses, the company has managed to reverse the trend and achieve a profit during the first quarter of the year. This financial turnaround occurred despite increased expenditures associated with the ongoing development of its Starship rocket. According to infrequently disclosed financial documents related to SpaceX, the company marked a significant milestone by recording its first profitable quarter in Q1 of the year. During this period, SpaceX reported a profit of $55 million, generated from a total revenue of $1.5 billion in the year 2023. The question of how SpaceX managed its finances while awaiting the launch of Starship and still turned a profit is an intriguing one. In the preceding year, SpaceX reported a noticeable increase in its expenses, rising from $3.3 billion in 2021 to $5.2 billion in 2022. However, the company's revenues experienced a remarkable doubling, reaching $4.6 billion during the same period. This surge in revenue contributed to a reduction in SpaceX's annual losses, which decreased to $559 million in 2022, down from $968 million in 2021, as indicated by the financial documents. These documents further revealed that in both 2021 and 2022, SpaceX allocated a total of $5.4 billion for various expenses, including property purchases, equipment, and research and development. Some of these funds were directed toward the ongoing development of Starship, although the precise amount is not specified in the documents. Overall, while SpaceX may not have achieved profitability in those years, its revenue continued to show consistent growth, 
aligning with the expansion of its overall launch operations. SpaceX's financial sustainability relies on a diverse range of funding sources, and one of the pivotal contributors is capital injection from investors. This investment has played a crucial role in allowing the company to remain privately owned and has been instrumental in supporting SpaceX's ambitious endeavors in the highly competitive space industry. Another substantial source of revenue for SpaceX comes from its highly successful Falcon rocket missions. SpaceX's Falcon rockets have established themselves as workhorses in the space launch industry, reliably delivering payloads into orbit. In the previous year, SpaceX's Falcon 9 set a record by completing an impressive 60 launches, highlighting its remarkable track record. Furthermore, the demand for SpaceX's workhorse rocket, the Falcon, has surged even higher this year. This increased demand can be attributed to the delays and setbacks experienced by other launch vehicles, such as ULA's Vulcan Centaur, which have failed to make their debut as planned. SpaceX has made another strategic move by increasing the price for trips to orbit aboard the Falcon 9 rocket by approximately 8% this year. With this adjustment, a single launch now costs $67 million. The revenue generated from these missions has significantly bolstered the company's financial standing, providing the resources needed to continue pushing the boundaries of space exploration. One of the most promising financial prospects for SpaceX is closely tied to the launch of Starlink satellites. SpaceX has been deploying 21 to 22 of its mini Starlink Vive 2 satellites with each Falcon 9 launch. The grand vision includes launching approximately 37,000 more satellites before the Starlink constellation is fully completed. Initially, the plan was never to rely solely on the Falcon 9 for these launches. The Falcon 9 was considered a suitable starting point to kickstart the Starlink project while awaiting the readiness of Starship. Starship, with its significantly larger size and lower launch cost, is expected to carry hundreds of Starlink satellites in a single launch. This transition to using Starship for Starlink satellite deployment is expected to have a profound impact. It will significantly accelerate the deployment of the Starlink constellation and enhance the quality of service it offers. Euroconsult, a prominent global strategy consulting and market intelligence firm specializing in the space sector, estimates that up to 40% of SpaceX's revenue, which amounts to approximately $3.2 billion, could be attributed to Starlink's broadband connectivity services. Starlink has already made significant strides by being available in nearly 60 countries and crucial maritime regions around the world. Taking a closer look at the numbers, it's projected that approximately 75% of Starlink's anticipated revenue for 2023 will be generated through a combination of service subscriptions spanning both residential and mobile segments. The remaining 25% of revenue is expected to come from hardware sales associated with subscriber additions. Starlink's user base is predicted to experience substantial growth doubling from an estimated 1.1 million users in January 2023 to approximately 2.2 million users by the end of the year. This remarkable growth can be attributed to several key factors, including aggressive reductions in hardware prices, the establishment of new distribution channels, increased capacity supply, and expansion into additional countries. To further bolster revenue for Starlink, relying solely on Falcon 9 launches won't be sufficient. SpaceX recognizes the need for the immense capability of Starship to launch larger Starlink satellites. Hundreds of thousands of people have already made deposits for Starlink service, but they are eagerly awaiting the launch of these larger satellites that only Starship can carry. This is crucial to ensure that there is enough capacity to serve this growing user base. Elon Musk highlighted the importance of this transition last year when he mentioned that running a profitable Starlink business would require significant enhancements in the size, power and capability of the satellites. Starship is seen as the key to achieving these necessary upgrades and expanding the capacity of the Starlink network, which in turn will play a pivotal role in driving increased revenue for the service. Starship embarked on its maiden test flight in April, approximately a year later than Elon Musk initially anticipated. However, this delay wasn't necessarily viewed as a setback for SpaceX's engineering program. Instead, it aligns with the company's core development strategy, characterized by a commitment to building and testing hardware in the real world. While this approach has seen its share of significant failures, SpaceX's engineers argue that it accelerates progress toward the ultimate goal of achieving a fully operational vehicle. In reality, constructing a new rocket, especially one as complex and powerful as Starship, is a non-linear process. Delays are not uncommon in such ambitious endeavors, and they can be particularly costly for a company with a large workforce like SpaceX. However, the next Starship launch attempt is on the horizon, and SpaceX is moving forward while awaiting the final response from the FAA. The company has diligently worked on completing the majority of the 57 out of 63 action items that the FAA required. Everything is poised and ready, with a series of changes, upgrades and improvements to both the rocket and the ground infrastructure system having been fully tested. Given this progress, the ambitious timeline for the next Starship launch could see it happening as soon as this month. What do you think? Is the Starship finally ready to achieve orbit? And can NASA finally get SLS development back on track? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.